Let's lower this down. We got some bailing though. Hello everyone, and welcome back to what is the old stream farm. For anyone that doesn't know, I have two episodes on this that I've uploaded like two years ago and then never continued it. So I put a poll up, I'll pop it up on screen. I had a poll, I also have a Camsden playthrough that I also never finished. Um but I think that has like eight or ten videos in it. And I stopped and then this had two videos. Three I think, but the first one was just like a tour. Um but yeah. Basically I put up a poll, people I just wanted to know which would they like to see me finish out first. So as you can see on the poll, the old stream farm by Black Sheep Modding. Pretty classic map, a lot of people know it. It's a very, very fun map. I've played it on previous farming simulators. So I said I'd continue it. I've done a few upgrades. Changed it around a bit. I've watched my two videos to see where I left off. Pretty much. And yeah, I've had to change a few things. First thing was the Renault I was using. was a 103, Renault 103 65 or something like that. It's a very small, old-fashioned Renault. But I'm actually using that in my roleplay series so yeah definitely also check that out that's pretty doing pretty good a lot of people like it so if you like roleplaying series make sure you check that out and i'll also leave the old the first two episodes well the playlist of the old stream farm up in the top right hand corner so if you want to check out the first two episodes please go ahead and do so but yeah i had to change it so this is actually only 110 horsepower so we've had that because the other one was 103 horsepower so this is a slightly newer renault obviously but roughly the same horsepower, so and it's obviously the bottom or four-wheel drive. So yeah, not too much of a change, but look, it's still a Renault. It's the best I could do. I don't want to use the one out of the roleplay. And then we have a McCormack, the MTX135, obviously 135 horsepower. Um, said I'd put that in as well. I've always wanted to use it. Very cool tractor. So that will be kind of like a field tractor. Um, this will probably be be more of a like on a maybe on the bale trailer or like uh i don't know maybe pulling the trailer like carting or moving the combine header be very light work this will be doing this will be doing some field work and maybe some carting as well and then we do have the new holland baler that was from the old series the old episodes that's also from the old episodes this is a bale trailer i'm using i don't want to use the jeep that i was using and the trailer because i don't think we'll have a need for a jeep in this playthrough so i said i'd change it to this that the tractors can pull i if you probably heard we have pigs we didn't have pigs but i always wanted to do pigs in farm simulator and i haven't got a chance to so i am going to download a mod i haven't done it yet but it'll be a slaughterhouse mod so that will be on the map somewhere i will fix figure that out for the next episode but for this episode we'll be just doing kind of like a walkthrough of how I upgraded stuff and we'll probably get into the field because I think some of the fields are actually ready which I will also describe on how I changed but we do have a planter and an extra hopper for the front this will be for sowing corn and stuff for the sheet or for the pigs then this is from the old episodes uh, 4755 uh, John Deere two wheel drive with the front loader so that's kept and stayed the same then we have the Valtra Valmet the 67 7 or the 87 7 87 50 if i could speak this is big horsepower uh, 190 i think 180 something around that so this will be on the likes of the drill uh the planter probably do a bit of cultivating i don't know whether to keep that cultivator or not might get a slightly bigger one we'll see but yeah this will be a big big workhorse of the farm little small fertilizer spreader that can also do lime we've just cultivated like i just said i've kept the class dominator that we were using in the older series or the old episodes the 108 i believe it is yeah 108 sl with a suitable header and yeah i think that's pretty much it i just have a small bit of pig food there just to get us going while we're started they are fed so here's our pigs we have 15 i believe so not too much i don't want to start off a clatter load but they'll obviously breed like mad and then we have a new holland baler over there that was also from the old episodes so don't know if we're going to be doing cows or sheep. We'll definitely be prioritising the pigs because I am doing a Thornton playthrough at the same time. And that's a, going to be a hefty dairy production on that map. So I don't know if I'll bother with cows, but definitely the pigs, maybe some sheep. 
Um, the fields we own are one and two, which you start off with. This has wheat, obviously. This is canola. And I did buy field five because in the old episodes, I was doing silage and I bought a little grass field here 11. But because we're not doing that, I said I'd swap it for field five. Probably a little bit bigger of a field, I know. but um, And I did put sorghum in that. It's not quite ready yet, uh, the sorghum. It's another month or so. So yeah, basically prioritizing the sheep. So the wheat field is ready and the canola field is just after being sown, I believe. Yeah, canola is just after being sown. So we won't have canola for a while, but we do have the bags and then we do have soybean or sorghum, which is actually going to be ready in September. I have it set to, to start off because I want to have everything ready at the start. And then we have wheat uh, that was actually ready for us in the base game. So, without further ado, that's it. The old stream farm. This is going to be a new series out now on my Friday episodes. And then Mondays will be Thornton Farm and Wednesdays will be my roleplaying series. I was going to kind of bulk record the old stream farm and drip them out and, and stay doing the Thornton. But I think the Thornton and the roleplaying series in the one week, like two episodes of Thornton and one of the roleplay, is just little bit boring so at least now there's three different maps coming out every single week one episode every week so i think that will be a little bit better hopefully let me know what you guys think but yeah i am surprised to say the least that the old stream farm won the uh what do you call it the poll i was definitely expecting amazon to win i don't know why i just had in my head we would have been recording cams now, um, not the old stream farm. Not that I don't make, I don't really mind, but I just don't know. Really don't know why I thought cams would have won, but I was shocked and kind of happy because I'll be going to do cams after this. So once this series ends, I've not how long, no idea how long it'll be, but once this ends, we will be going out to cams and I imagine Thornton will be nearly done by then because Thornton. Is already quite progressed so yeah we'll see how things go but i've no idea what i'm going to play after Thornton. i'm trying to keep it there's a mossy valley map coming out and then there's herefordshire by bullet bill so i don't know i'm trying to get them but i don't know when they're going to be released so that's the problem uh should be already here and yeah hook up to this we do want straw of course because we want manure from the piggies so yeah let me watch this that should be out of the way there to be fair and yeah let's unfold this is a very cool combine I think I did use something like this in my letting playthrough I'm trying not to use stuff from all my other playthroughs because what's the point? Uh, are we leaving straw? No, we're not. Let's leave straw, please. Yes, there we go. I want the straw swath. I don't think I have top straw enabled on this. I've had it enabled on the last few maps, so I said it for now. I don't want the same things on every playthrough like I just said. But if you have any suggestions on mods, let me know, because I would be more than happy to implement mods that you guys like to see. This is very tight. Got around apparently. Now, anyway, sorry, uh, time lapse. We'll get this cracking. We will get this field harvested. Not very big, but definitely essential. Probably all fit into one tank, but anyway. Let's do this. In my mouth is a desert. Running dry on the tip of my tongue. I can taste your lies. How to measure the love you throw around. I could never.
And there we go. So yeah, as you can tell, this harvester wouldn't be <laughs> very big. And it didn't take very long at all, and obviously the field is very small, so... <laughs> yeah, this is kind of the scale I'm going for, small scale, kind of... I don't want to go get machinery that's too big, because it won't work on this map, but... Yeah, we'll keep it kind of small, kind of medium, small to medium, ah, uh, push, like very little limited medium stuff. But, yeah. I have no idea no need I'd say to upgrade the combine I would say this will be doing us for the entirety of the series um, can't actually fold it because we have wheat grain in it so what I'm gonna do is pop out the pipe just here and shot out with reach in we're we'll getting the McCormack up to the oh just throw the grain in front of the beacon so we're going around the yard yep perfect trailer for that combine okay I need to turn off the camera thing it's quite annoying um, not the perfect trailer for the tractor though uh, yeah it's quite low hitched on the machine and it's lifting the back wheels off the ground that will have to be yeah okay so we can't put the McCormack on that so this will be a workhorse kind of thing if I feel I know we have four tractors so if I feel we need to sell one of them I will be asking you guys which one do you think we should sell so we'll give it a, a few episodes to see what tractors we're using more than others and then if we feel we're not using one we can just sell it so but that will be down to you guys yeah it's just much higher perfect anyway let's uh this tractor has no beacons let's crap let's anyway tip it into our pit i can not crash into everything what is oh to leave it running so yeah we could pack away the combine now just like that hold it up and let's get the rent out bring on in the header I also have the no Kang, is it? Tires on these. I have it on this and I have it on the Valtra, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Just something different. Um, I think they're quite a unique looking tire, so might as well use them. Again, not something I always use, so I like to kind of use. I want to kind of use everything available to me in the game. Definitely looks different with that tire tread. But I kind of like it. Let's We do need to bail, so we might use the McCormack to bail. I can actually go there. Yeah. I'll grab the McCormack, we'll see if I can connect the bailer properly. And we will bail up that straw. It's very weak looking. I did notice that. So it wasn't fertilized at all. Uh, it was just like that from the game. That's the way you get it when anyone spawns in. With the wheat there. Ready to harvest. No fertilizer. Let's get some bailing done. We are going to need a corn header for the harvester, and I'm pretty sure the Capello ones are universal. That's yes, connects perfect. So yeah, we might have to buy a corn header. We do need corn. But anyway, let's 
Not worry about that just yet. Yeah, let's lower this down. We got some bailing though. I believe I have the round bailer mod where it stops for me automatically, so. Let's crack on and get this bail. Bales. We're definitely not going to get another one. However, I will just go around and pick up any missed bits. But yeah, we're definitely not going to get another bales. So we got three off it. Which is sorry for not even fertilizing it. Nearly four, so at least the next time we bale, we will. We we'll have to be careful because we're not getting straw from our sorghum or canola or anything like that. Because I don't have the chopped straw mod activated. There we go. 82% so close but so far. Oh, so anyway. We can throw this back. And we can get into our John Deere with our loader. Yeah, the John Deere is just going to be for moving stuff around the yard. Uh, moving feed bags, bales, pallets of any sort. Um, that's that's going to be used for. Won't probably do a whole lot of field work in it. Even though it is, I think, 190 horsepower. Uh, yeah, it's quite high horsepower to a wheel drive tractor, but... Uh, we have the Valtra and this to do kind of field work for wheel drive. I cannot drive this for some reason. Stay there, and let's get in our John Deere. Just drop the pallet fork off on the shelf that Black Sheep Mon kindly gave us. May as well make use of it. I won't use the bale trailer, there's obviously no need. Go on the beacon, and we'll head on and pick up these. Oh, there's one. Up two at a time. Uh, I probably sh should actually buy weights. I don't think I have any. So yeah, that's something I will have to buy. Oh. Yeah, no idea where I'm going to put the bales, but I'd say over here is as good a place as any. Yeah, let's just turn in here for now. Looks more like a machinery shed, but anyway, we can figure that out down the line. It's just somewhere now to get them off the field in case it rains. Yeah, so since we're doing pigs, I doubt we'll be doing any sort of grass work in this series. Obviously the pigs don't need grass, it's more crops and stuff. So that's why I did get a planter, because I would like to be able to do some potatoes and sugar beet. Um, and I will more than likely be finding a mod of some sort with a harvester for doing, say, sugar beet or potatoes. That's trail behind the tractor. Um because I don't want to have to lease those mahoos of ginormous harvesters for doing uh 
potatoes and sugar meat because they just won't fit on this map. It's ridiculous. They're way too big. So, yeah. So I'd definitely be finding some sort of a trailed harvester um, or potatoes or sugar beet. And, yeah, we will more than likely be doing that. So, I suppose we could get into Valtra. Uh, it's over here by the trailer. And we could actually just cultivate that field. Um, I mean, we haven't got much to do. This is just the first episode, so... We could, yeah. Let's actually... That's what we do. We'll head up to the store and we'll buy two eights. We'll head up to the store, we'll buy two eights. Uh, where are we going? We'll buy one for the John Deere, because the John Deere will more than likely have one on its rear weight all the time. So let's buy a John Deere one. That's uh, 900kg, I'd say, would be enough for that. Yeah, I'd say the 900kg one would be enough for the John Deere. So let's purchase that. And then let's just get a normal weight then for the Valtra or any other tractors. So, anything too big either. Like, we're only using small, medium machinery. So, I'd say the 1100 maybe. Yeah. Um, probably just put a black, black maybe. Because it'll probably be going on. I like the Onyx black though. Uh, it'll be going on. The Valtra and the MTX, more than likely, so. I'll fly up to the store and grab the two eights. I also, when I was playing my old playthrough, I did say, literally, as I was coming around this bend right here, if you watched the first episode, I wanted to get an all-cancelling indicator. And there we go. I got the mod. Because I didn't have it. I don't think it was even released back then. Because Farm Simulator was only like a few months old. So I don't know if that mod was even out by then. But when I was watching back through my video. I noticed myself saying that obviously. So I got it. And yeah. They spawn over here. All of the items you get from the shop. So we will be doing. Cultivating. So let's black one on the front that's where it's gonna have to stay time being that green one on the back then and drop it off at the yard okay I did change the front weight to a 600 kg weight because that 1100 kg looked absolutely out of place on the front of this Valtra it was the size of the whole bonnet just hanging off the front of it so I swapped it out uh, for this 600 one, it looks a little bit more the size, it even is still quite big, but um, yeah, I don't want to get a tiny weight, obviously. But yeah, it'll do for now. It, the other one just looked uh, way too big for this tractor, so. Well, oh, uh, let's pick up the cultivator. A little small one. It's quite small, but again, the fields are quite small, so it's hard to know what to do. We will be sticking to small, like, medium machinery, like I said. So anyway, third time lapse of the episode. We'll get this cultivated up. And... Yeah, it's just simple enough. We'll get this field cultivated. So, again, because the fields are so small, we'll be able to get a lot of progress done in each episode. There'll be no spending hours in a field. Um, because they're so small. So the work will be getting done quite quick. So we'll be able to plow through work. And get the series rolling very quickly. Like to say we have. This field. Harvested, baled, cleared. And. Going to have it cultivated by the end of the episode is. Pretty good. Again. I know it's a tiny field but. Anyway, we'll start another time lapse, and I will get cracking, and we will. Oh, just yeah. Well, I think of it before we do. The reason the cul the car, or the, the if I could speak, the canola is just harvest or just sowed in that field number two up there, so, which is our field, is because I actually drilled it in the very first episode. So that's why it's just drilled. I didn't want to have everything on hand at the harvest ready to go. Because we did just do that, so 
uh, the first episode, so I kind of left it the way it was. That it's going to be just harvested as if it was harvested in the first episode. So that's why that's like that, if anyone wants to know. Anyway, now let's get on with the time lapse and get cracking with my no drift on my stick camera, which is great. It's so nice to just leave the camera sitting right here and not have to touch it. Anyway, let's get cracking. Here we go, we're almost done. Took a bit longer than I expected, but it's not an overly big cultivator as you can see. Barely the weight of the tractor. So I might upgrade this at some stage, sooner rather than later. But yeah, we have a lot of money to spend on other stuff like harvesters for potatoes and sugar beet and stuff like that so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a a slow pace series for sure but I like it I'll pack this back up don't think I'll leave it back where it was I think I will put it over by the baler I have this as like an implement shed also, kind of want to stop using that tunnel to come into the yard. Uh, I should just lower that. Yeah. So, I actually do want to start using the actual uh, yard entrance, which is this one. So, I'll go ahead and open this. I just think it'll be better. I'm coming through here. And um, so, we'll close this. Because, like, realistically, if you're coming up here, like, along... Let me just head out. If you're coming up along here with, uh, like, a bale trailer, long bale trailer, and you're trying to make that swing, that's never going to happen. So, you're going to come up this way, through the lane and in there, where there's no sharp turns, realistically, and straight on in with your trailer for your load. So, I think it just makes more sense. Anywho, that's all I have time for for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if there's anything we should change, anything we should get rid of, anything we should get instead, um, leave your feedback in the comments. I'm open to anything, like as usual. So, yeah, this has been episode three of the All Stream Farms. So, like I said, this will be coming out every Friday. So, until it's finished, I don't know how long I'll run it for, um, but I'm guessing 20, 25 episodes, the huge. Um, yeah, it's kind of the length of time my all my playthroughs go through, but like it'll only be once a week, so it'll be slow. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notifications. Make sure you check out my roleplay. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode of The Old Stream Farm. Thanks for watching and goodbye.